Hey everybody, what's up? This is the fourth video, I believe, on my 2001 Insight restoration. So I did a bunch of stuff in the last couple days, and since the last video, I wanted to update you on it. So I've got five things. Three easy, two easy to medium. And uh, got my Honda collection going here. Yeah, this is a... This has been a great little car to work on. I'm about two and a half weeks in. Actually, tomorrow will be three weeks of owning it. I'm almost done with everything I plan to do. The battery is supposedly on the way, the IMA battery. And once that's in, I think I have one or two more parts, but it will be done. It's got a custom plate on the way too. It's going to say Eco Rocket, E-C-O space R-K-T. Just ordered that, so. So I did five things recently. I'll talk to you through them real quick. The first is new stickers. These were 44 bucks for all three, which is pricey, but the car looks so good. Um, I just thought I'd need to get some new stickers. It really adds something. And the other ones, the old ones, were pretty shot. So that was one thing. And then I ordered these uh, pedal covers. These are Honda pedal covers. I got these two, the clutch and the brake. Cleaned up the accelerator pedal, and then, of course, I added my dead pedal. So that just added a nice uh, little touch there. Third thing I did was I added this mirror. This is the Broadway blue tint mirror. It's a clip-on. I uh, looked for a uh, OEM one for the Insight, which it's a tiny little mirror. Um, I just could not source one, uh, so I got this in the meantime, but I actually am really glad. Uh, this was just going to be temporary. <clears throat> Excuse me. But um, I like it so much I'm going to keep it, and the reason is it's bigger uh, than the stock. This is the 240 millimeter one. They have much larger ones you can get from this company, Broadway. Um, but it uh, it clips right on, and the cool thing is, um, if you can, I don't know if you can tell in the in the in the film here, but you, before with the stock mirror, you could just see out the back hatch, but with the new mirror, you can see both everything. So I'm looking out the rear view mirror, and I can see the ground behind me through that little CRX window, which is really cool. Um, so I'm keeping that thing. So that's three. Uh, so stickers, pedal covers, mirror, and then the other two things I've done in the last few days is I replaced my cat, my front cat, and my motor mount, uh, rear motor mount. So we'll talk about the cat first. Um, this is the Davico brand. This was $192, I think. Um, there it is, wrapped in blue, which I'll talk about in a moment. Um, really easy install. Um, took maybe 30, 45 minutes, um, if that. Um, if, as long as your bolts aren't rusted, you're going to be fine. But the cat was breaking up, so the previous owner had gutted it from this, so this thing's actually empty. It smelled bad. It didn't sound right. It didn't run right. So I replaced the cat. It's really running a lot better. I'm really, really glad I spent the money and did that. By the way, that went up to $264 um, the moment I bought mine, strangely enough. So if you're looking for one and it's more than the 190 ish that I said, uh, it's my fault. I bought the last cheap one, apparently, on Amazon. Um, but, uh, so yeah, this is a pretty easy install. Um, as long as your bolts aren't rusty, you just have, you got to take off your two oxygen sensors. And, uh, that one's wrapped. That one right there. That one. And, uh, you just unclip this. If you can, it's kind of hard to get to. And then unclip this one down here. And then once you get those, uh, unclipped, this is just three twelves. One, two, three. There's the third one right there, a triangle. And then uh, down here, you've got uh, three 14s. There's one here in this bracket, and then there's one kind of hidden down here, and then there's another one right there. You can see it. So, um, and pop pops right off. Real, real easy, real easy. I got it off in like 10 or 15 minutes. Um, putting it back on was also easy. Um, you, you do need, if you want a new gasket, the Davico comes with the donut gasket down there, the big donut, but this one it did not. I just reused my stock one because it was in good shape. Um, so this bolts right up. The, the welds weren't great on this um, Davico cat, um, but um, it, I did a pressure test and it's fine. So we're going to keep it. Um, down here, rather than having the female uh, holes threaded, they're just holes. So I actually just had to source my own uh, uh, nuts for the two spring bolts uh, here and on the other side. And then for this bolt right here, which is also a 14 for the bracket, I just had to get my own nut and bolt because that's also not threaded. So the stock piece has a threaded uh, bolt that goes in, but this uh, the Davico doesn't. It's just a hole, so you, you can't thread it in. So I just got my own. Uh, I had an exhaust 
I had some exhaust nuts laying around and nuts and bolts so that went on there great and it fits perfectly it just fit right on with no problems at all and then the heat shield which you can see right here um, I started to take this off but then I realized that it wasn't gonna be possible my my bolts down here are all crude I mean I could have got them off but then there's really no point because um, I would have had to weld this bracket here or something like it onto the new one so that I could fit this heat shield on there and I, rather than mess with all that I just thought you know I'll just spend it was like seven bucks for this roll of uh, exhaust wrap so it looks pretty decent I got a color to match my car which is cool <laughs> and uh, it came out pretty good and that should take care of it I also had a little extra I stuck down there on the plug or on the uh, oxygen sensor wire just for just for uh, just you know extra extra protection so that is the cat and then the other thing I did was the rear motor mount um, here's my rear motor mount the stock one it is shot you can see this look at that this thing is just totally totally not working at all so this was a hundred and ten dollars and um, let me look at my notes here just make sure I get the right this was a fort, yeah, so I remember now it's 17s and 14s, so we're going to go under here, and phone is now upside down, and then I'll talk you through how to do this. It's also super easy. Um, where is it? There it is. So I'm under the car upside down, of course, and you've just got two seven, uh, three 17s, one, two, three, sorry. All right, those come out, and then the problem is this bolt is going to hit this exhaust you can't get it out. So what you have to do is get a 14 mil and there's four bolts on this bracket right here. This is the bracket that's holding the mount to the rest of the engine. And there's two 14s here and then there's a third and then there's a fourth. And what you gotta do is just loosen uh, three of the four, take three of the four out and then the fourth one just loosen it and pull it out so that this bracket can then swivel, okay? And by the way, you don't have to jack the engine. I've done a lot of uh, engine mounts, and this is the first car that you don't have to jack the engine. The engine's so lightweight, and there's enough support from above that you don't even have to jack it. When you take this out, the engine will move like, dook, that's it. And you can, the engine's so light, you can just take your, your arm and just push it. I just was able to push the engine around to get these bolts to line back up. So I didn't have to jack it at all, but anyhow, you take these four, three of these four uh, out, and then you loosen the th fourth one and then that will allow this bracket to swivel because it's not held in anymore by all four. So it, once you get three of the four out, it will swivel and you just swivel it back this way and then you can just pull the bolt right out and that way you swivel it out of the way of the exhaust and it comes right out. And then install, again, just I stuck it in. I used one arm to push up on the engine. I used the other arm to just hand tighten these 17s. Of course, that goes in, those go in. Make sure everything goes in hand tight before you put a ratchet or gun on it. You gotta be real careful with engine mounts. And that's it, this thing's in and it's so much smoother and better with that with that new mount. And I'm gonna crawl out of here now. Sorry for the bad camera work. I don't really put any energy into my production, but um, hopefully that is helpful. So that's the deal. So next, my IMA battery. Supposedly it shipped today. So probably take a couple weeks to get a day to get that installed. But once I do, we will be, she'll be back to glory. And I'll do a, uh, actually I have some cool videos coming up. I'm gonna, I got a buddy with a Fiero. I'm gonna shoot a uh, Honda Insight versus uh, Pontiac Fiero comparison. Which car is more unique and landmark and groundbreaking? Um, and then I'm, uh, I'm going to do a drive with this, a POV drive before the IMA, so in gas only mode. And then I'm going to also do another one after I install the IMA battery. And then I got some other ideas for this car, three or four more other videos I'm going to be shooting that uh, just talk about it. And uh, if you're interested in it, it should be very helpful for you. So anyhow, hope you have a great night. It's time to go get cleaned up. Praise the Lord. Be kind to other people. Bless you.